Indian football has been on a roller coaster ride these last few years. It achieved great heights and the lowest of lows too. One man has seen it all. That's Indian head coach, or should I say former Indian head coach Igor Stimak. The Croat was appointed in 2019 and stayed in that position for five years, even when it seemed like the rope was wearing thin. Because after a high came a setback like no other, and somehow Stimak seemed to ride out the storm. But AIFF, the Indian Football Association, has had enough. Their patience finally wore off. Late last night came in the press release by the association that Stimak had been shown the door. Now, of course, this is not shocking. It felt like a while coming and Stimak has left quite the trail of disaster behind him. The eloquent coach was many things during his tenure. He made lofty promises. Obvious first and primary goal is qualifying for the third round of the World Cup qualifiers. He always backed his own skills as a mentor and that of his relationship with some of the key players. You know, I'm trying to be the best father they can have, the best friend they can get while they are here and even when we are not together. Was always confident, even when the team floundered, there was nothing that would shake his confidence. I think we can qualify. And I told you before as well, we are going to be a different team after a long camp. Confident, defiant and so sure in his ways, he even said he would step down if India failed to make it to the third round of qualification. Ashtimak did talk up a storm and managed to ride out a period that many in football would not have lasted. Germany, for instance, after their loss in the 2022 World Cup final, did away with Hansi Flick, the manager. Even club football, Mauricio Pochettino, was sent packing after Chelsea's disappointing Premier League season. For Stimak to stick on all these years was rather commendable. But let's also face it, Indian football did see some of its best moments while he was at the helm. India had a tremendous year, winning three international trophies in 2023. They had managed to break into the top 100 and they had qualified for the Asia Cup for a second consecutive year. Indian football was on the rise and expectations were mounting. Everything looking good. And that's when things went south and very quickly. India were first knocked out of the AFC Asia Cup after losing to Uzbekistan and Syria. What followed was far worse. They first drew against Afghanistan and then lost to the same opponent. This was the World Cup qualifiers. While AFC Asia Cup was a tougher competition, losing to lesser ranked Afghanistan triggered fans. The officials were not happy either. Stimak, who was once a hero, was not a favourite anymore. Maybe it was the promises he made or maybe the non-admission that something was amiss, whatever it was. He had upset the apple cart by then. Talks of his salary started during the rounds. Stimak was reportedly earning about $30,000 a month and AIFF weren't too amused with what they were getting in return. The draw against Kuwait and the loss to Qatar the final nail in the coffin. And reports say that Stimak will be given only three months' salary as severance, which, which accounts to $90,000, whereas his contract is up to 2026. And taking that into account, AIFF is bound to pay him around $720,000. But the bigger picture, Stimak sacked, Captain Sunil Chetri retired. Things look bleak from the time Stimak very confidently told us this. Sunil, as a captain, Sandesh and Gurpreet are treated in a way differently because all these boys, you know, they, they have, they are coming from different cultures. You know, even some of them, they don't understand each other they, if they don't speak English amongst them. So different cultures, different mentalities, different characters. And I need my captains to help me to make sure that the rest of the boys understand perfectly what I am insisting on. So they are my right hands. They are the boys who are uh, presenting my words, you know, to the team and explaining in detail what needs to be done and how to execute our plans. His right hand's not there anymore. There's one, of course, remaining, but he himself doesn't exist in the scheme of things, does Timac. Gurpreet now heads the affairs as the Indian captain and he has a tough task ahead of him. Whatever success was achieved in the past five years doesn't matter now. The team 
has to start from square one. And with India out of the World Cup qualifiers, the international calendar is pretty much done. The focus will now shift to domestic football, so the chances for the entire team to work as a unit will be rare. Apart from international breaks, the players will be with their clubs, so it would leave a void for the Indian team to build on something new here on. And with international coaches failing for India, will the management opt for an Indian hand? Now, if so, they might look at someone like Mahesh Gauli, at least temporarily. He's been second in command since 2022, knows the squad well. And his role as India under-20 head coach will make him bring in more youngsters into the fray. Whatever the decision AIFF finally takes, it has to be done with an eye to the future and a strong vision in place to carry them forward from this point on. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. From elections to climate change, to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.